Hello, 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 motivators. Welcome back to Miss Glow Glow Motivation. I'm back with another video for you guys. Uh, I am back here this morning. I'm up early. It's Thursday. Happy Thursday to everybody. I just wanted to come on and give you guys a quick update to let you guys know that I am doing well and blessed because this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Uh, I am Blessed indeed on today, guys. Don't overlook my hair. I ain't did nothing to it. I'm actually getting ready to go to the, the church with my pastor. And um, uh, we doing a cleaning of the church. So we finna do a great big clean of the church like it's spring cleaning. So, yeah, that's what's going down in my agenda for today. I'm about to get dressed and get out and about in these streets of Wisconsin. And, yeah, that's it. So how's everybody been doing to get today? I know I haven't been really doing my regular uploads, but I will be getting back to that. Y'all charge it to my head, not my heart, because, you know, I'm adjusting. I'm in a new uh, state, a new residence, so, hey, I'm adjusting. But I wanted to come on and let you guys know that I love you. And while I'm on here, since I love you and you know that I love you, I want to read you a word today just to share a little bit of motivation with you guys. And today I'm going to be reading to you guys from Matthews uh, chapter 15, the 21st verse through the 28th verse. And this is when Jesus was came encountered with the Canaanite woman who was, uh, you might as well say, a lost, a lost sheep. But this was the woman that had a daughter that was uh, demonized, that had demons in her. And she wanted Jesus to cast the demons out of her daughter. But uh, let's read this. And this is my word. I'm going to share with you guys today. So this will not be a long video because I have things to do. So put your spiritual ears on and listen to what the word has to say. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cried after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, worshiped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not meet to take the children's bread and cast it to the dogs. And she said, True, Lord, yet the dogs eat the crumbs which falls from the master table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, Great is thy faith, be it unto thee, even as thy will. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. That woman was determined to to just get a touch or just to hear the word of Jesus, to let her know that, that her daughter was free from the demons. Even though he said to her that it is not good for me to take the food from the children and cast it to the dogs, she said, Yea, Lord. But even the dogs deserve the crumbs that falls from the table. So, yes, she was de determined for Jesus to heal her daughter. Now, where it said it's not me to take the children's bread, that is verse 26. And the footnote said the dog was a term the Jews commonly applied to the Gentile because the Jews considered these pagan people more likely than dogs. To receive God's blessing, Jesus was not degrading the woman by using the term. He was reflecting the Jews' attitudes so as to contrast it with his own. The woman did not argue. Instead, using Jesus' choice of word, she agreed to be considered a dog as long as she could receive God's blessing and salvation because she rejected Jesus. And many Gentiles would find salvation because they recognize and accept him. That was the uh, King James Version. Now, if we go to the, the uh, Central Standard uh, English Version, it reads as this, and this, and then here is uh, identify this certain scriptures as the woman of faith. And it says, as Jesus left and went into the territory near the cities of Tyre and Sidon, suddenly a Canaanite woman from there came out shouting, Lord, and son of David, have pity on me. 
my daughter is full of demons. And Jesus did not say a word, but the woman kept following along and shouting. So his disciples came up and asked him to send her away. The disciples wanted, her, wanted Jesus to send the woman away. But that's not our Jesus. He's a compassion. He's a caring God, okay? Jesus said, I was sent only to the peoples of Israel. They are like a flock of lost sheep. He was sent to them. Remember, Jesus came to save the lost, okay? So he was sent to that woman because she was considered a lost sheep. The woman came closer, and she knelt down, and she begged, Please help me, Lord. Jesus replied, it isn't right to take food away from the children and feed it to the dogs. Lord, that's true, the woman said. But even the dogs get the crumbs that falls from their owner's table. Jesus answered, dear woman, you really do have a lot of faith and you will be given what you want. At that moment, her daughter was made whole because of her faith. Because she didn't deny when Jesus said it's not good to take the bread from the children and cast it to the dogs at that moment when she said true Lord but even the dogs desired crumbs that falls on the floor from the table her faith was made whole her daughter was made whole because of her faith because she did not uh reject Jesus or uh, because she didn't get angry when he used the scenario as uh it's not good to take the bread from the children and give it to a dog even though he kind of put her in a category or categorize her as a dog, she didn't get angry. Her faith got even stronger because she was determined for Jesus to heal her daughter. She wanted her daughter healed. So that's how we have to look at things today. When we want something from God, we got to stand firm on our faith, be strong on our faith. We have to pray that God to God for him to let our faith fail us not. We have to be a, a good soldier. You know, it's just like we we out in the battlefield for the Lord. We got to run on and run on and run on and keep running to see what the end is going to be. You heard that saying where they said, I'm trying to make 100 because 99 and a half won't do. 99 and a half just ain't going to do. If you have 99 coins and you need a dollar, if you can't get that one more penny, it just ain't going to work because somebody might not let you get by with that one cent. So you want to strive for a hundred. That's why we can say today that none of us is perfect. None of us is perfect, but we strive. We live for perfection. We are striving for perfection every day. But as long as we're living in this world, in this body, in this life, we will never be perfect. I just wanted to come on here and share that with you share that with you guys. I hope that it helps somebody. We want to ask God to let his word be a blessing to the readers, hearers, doers, listeners, and learners in Jesus Christ's holy name, covered by the blood. We also want to ask God to open up your spiritual eyes and your ears and to put within you a spirit of discernment so that you may be able to discern his voice from the enemy voice right from wrong. And if you lack wisdom, Seek him. Ask him for it. He said, those who lack wisdom, let him ask. He will give it to you. He will even reveal the mysteries of his words to you. If you ask him and you open up your heart to him, all you have to do today is open up your heart to God. He said, I stand at the door of your heart and knock. Will you open and let me in? Are you willing to open and let him in? Because he's right there. He's right there. Just, just as close as my hand is. To you guys, he's right there. Open up and let him in. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Have a very blessed Thursday. I'll see you guys on the next video. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Remember, guys, we're all under one nation, one love, one God. Peace we have because Jesus left that peace here with us. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Remember that God loved you so much that he gave his only begotten son over to die for us. And I love you too. See you in the next video. Every Thursday. Bye.